This is one of the projects that makes up the Perth Growth Projects, which are total value of £107 million. I'm standing next to, to one of the pipes that's part of the Tay Street and Shore Road improvements. This is a 2.2 metre diameter pipe. There'll be 470 metres of these being put in the ground, and this is a really great example of reducing carbon on the project by using this hybrid plastic steel pipe. Significantly less carbon than the concrete pipe that you would use at this diameter. This is part of the 470 metre long super sewer that we're putting in the city centre. It helps the transporting the flows from the growth throughout Perth towards our Perth wastewater treatment works. It also helps reduce flooding, the wider catchment of Perth. It will also facilitate future flooding projects that are coming through at the moment. The population of Perth is predicted to increase by around about 50%. So these new pipes are all part of facilitating this growth. This is a very significant infrastructure development, replacing the sewer with a much expanded sewer to cope with the expansion of the city. The development that's been undertaken by Scottish Water is a really significant investment. It's a welcome development, it's a huge capital investment. It brings with it a lot of disruption, but the work is so important to provide for the expansion of the city, to provide for the new housing and crucially, to alleviate some of the pressures such as flooding. All of us can see that the weather around about us is changing. We can see that we've got much heavier, sharper inundations of rainfall and the traditional sewage infrastructure of Scotland isn't designed for all of that. So the big holding tanks that have been created are very important in providing a capacity within the infrastructure around the city of Perth. This is a really important strategic development in future-proofing the city for climate change, but also enabling the expansion of the city, which is much needed.